What's up guys, welcome back on this quick tech tip episode. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to reverse the image on the camera. So I got this uh, Double Din uh, Pioneer deck. It's kind of a cheaper entry level one for the Duramax because I wanted to be able to um, hook up my trailers basically by myself. So I have this uh, Double Din did not come with the camera so I just got a uh, cheap cheapo that would work with it. Um, I think I got it off eBay and uh, I went to back up to my trailer for the first time and realized that the camera is reversed. So there's no way to adjust this in the settings on this. If you go to camera settings, uh, it doesn't give you any options to reverse the camera image. If you do click on that and change it to ground, when you put the... Uh, Let's see, let's go back here. When you put it into drive or park, the screen shuts off like it's in reverse, but it doesn't work, and then the screen will only come back on when you go into reverse. So we want to go ahead and switch that back on. I made that mistake earlier and thought I thought the uh, screen took a shit on me. So in order to get the image to be reversed, if you look there, snail mail is on the right side and it's actually on the left side. So in order to get that image to be reversed, we have to go back to the camera and we have to clip a couple wires on the camera. And there also is a way to put the lines on it. I'm not sure I'm going to put the lines on because I don't know if I really need them or want them, but uh, let's go back at, to the camera and uh, take a look at the wires. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the truck in reverse. Uh, with the e-brake on and truck is not on just so you can see it change when we cut this So these two wires right here are the ones that we need to cut the white one is for the Camera reversal and the green one will be for the lines. So let's go ahead and all we have to do is Chop that and just like that the camera is now reversed and uh, snail mail is on the left inside the car and it is on the left over there. So that is perfect. That's just that simple. Uh, there's no adjustments inside the uh, settings on the head unit itself. You just gotta snip a wire. I don't know if I should go snip the uh, green one or not just to show you that the green one will turn the lines on. And right, let's go cut it. Here, and we're just gonna cut the green. And now we have the lines, which I don't know if I like or not. So I might be uh, reconnecting the green wire just because I don't really care for it that much. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this quick tech. Uh, hopefully that helped you because uh, it kind of freaked me out a little bit when I uh, backed up to the trailer and all of a sudden I was getting farther and farther away, but I was turning the direction I needed to go because the camera was backwards. Um, Basically just got the camera so that I can uh, hook trailers up easier by myself because I'm always dropping the enclosed trailer or the dump trailer or something. So I uh, figured since I was redoing the truck, I'd go ahead and uh, spend a couple extra bucks and get a backup camera. And yeah, it was kind of a little bummer when it was backwards. But we got it figured out pretty straightforward. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and we'll catch you on the next one.